Glad to see that those birds are happy in a nest someplace else. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> and sure. And speaking of cranes, <laughs> I call that the Denver City bird. We've, we've got a few of them we've got We've got like <laughs> 10 of them in this little golden triangle we have around the station down here at 10th and Lincoln. They are building up. They're going to block our, our sunset uh, pretty soon out there. 74 degrees downtown right now. And as you look between the buildings that are going up, you can see the haze, but you can make out the mountains back here. Yesterday, you couldn't even do that. And you can see the haze just ha happening right over the city from the Tech Center camera, just that milky white sky, and that's going to remain into tomorrow. In fact, thickening up just a little bit tomorrow. Add into that, we've got a little bit of cloudiness, mid and high level cloudiness pushing across Denver up to Akron. No moisture to be had from these clouds, and I don't think we're going to see any thunderstorms tonight, but we've got a line of storms just outside of uh, Trinidad and Raton pushing up through Kit Carson, Lamar getting some good thunderstorms, a lot of lightning with those, and down there in Baca County as well. You get up into the central and southern mountains, we've got thunderstorms there, and they're getting a little bit of rain down there north of Cortez and Durango from some of the storms there still dry up to the uh, northwest but you might get a little sprinkle or a thunderstorm up there Grand Junction had a little storm going on up to Canada we go the fires are still burning up there and you can see as you look at this you can see the uh, smoke plumes coming off of the fires here and all this milky white that's coming down that's all smoke coming into Montana over into the Dakotas so we've got kind of another surge that's going to tip into northeastern and part of eastern Colorado again tonight into tomorrow and that's going to increase the haze around here briefly in the morning and then some in, in um, increasing uh, yeah, or, or I should say decreasing smoke in the afternoon it gets a little better there so the forecast tonight a few isolated storms in the mountains those dissipate by morning tomorrow will be mostly sunny around here but with that haze it's not going to feel like it out there and then by afternoon more isolated storms in the mountains should be fairly dry out over the eastern plains and most of the day we stay dry in Denver so the smoke forecast again for us looks like this overnight tonight we see an increase of smoke all the way down to Denver pushing down towards Lamar by 9 30 in the morning there's the map for you it it decreases out here in the eastern plains in the afternoon and evening but it stays from Denver to Fort Collins Boulder and Fort Morgan on into the evening tomorrow so another hazy day for us Betty Lajeunesse and Erie our weather watcher there coming in at 77 right now she should drop to about 50 for her overnight low tonight as will Fort Collins and Littleton uh, across the state 30s and 40s in the mountains 50s and 40s out there on the western slope your highs out there on the western slope tomorrow 80s and 70s here in the mountains will be in the 60s primarily like Aspen at 68 Breckenridge is 62 and mostly 70s across the eastern plains in the yellow shaded areas here. Should be a really nice day as far as temperature goes. 76 for the uh, temp in Denver with the smoky skies but mild temperatures and then Tuesday we get uh, into a pattern of afternoon thunderstorms with 79. Cold front comes through on Wednesday here and that may spark a few heavy or severe thunderstorms out across the eastern plains on Wednesday and then again on Thursday afternoon. You see that pretty good Good chances into the evening on Thursday as well. In fact, we're talking like 50% chance for both Wednesday and Thursday, 30% to 40 on Friday into next weekend. Uh, next weekend, 70s to near 80, but every afternoon all the way through Memorial Day, we could get some afternoon thunderstorms. At this point, if you're planning for Memorial Day already, 76 degrees with thunderstorms here. And if you're doing any camping, I know a lot of people uh -huh. do, even if you get thunderstorms, if you're up high, you know, right. it gets kind of cold and wet up there. Right. Thank you for that so reminder then. Take the warm clothes on the wall. Yes, well, I think that's always a wise oh, idea. Oh, yeah, for sure. Great. Dave, thank you so much. You bet. Well, in case you haven't figured it out by now.